that was the, the, the time of the day that I was always looking for to it. Um, like after school, I would walk to the field. Every day? Every day. Former catcher and current Indians manager Miguel, or Miggy Perez, hails from Guatire Miranda, Venezuela, where baseball is not a pastime, it's a lifetime. Right before my last year of high school, um, the White Sox came home, you know, came to my house and talked to my mom and dad about becoming a professional baseball player. And my mom goes like, no, you're going to finish your school, you're going to finish high school and then We'll see what you can do. At the time, Perez was in the National Orchestra where he played viola, so he wasn't a stranger to traveling or the States. In fact, music was his backup plan in case baseball didn't work out. However, that wasn't necessary. Merely after I finished my high school, uh, um, I went to a tryout with the Reds and that's how it happened. At 17 years old, Perez was signed by the Reds in 2000, where he played in the farm system for seven seasons. He was learning English and trying to communicate with American pitchers. Halfway, going to the mound, halfway stopped and I said, hey, strikes. And I went back to, <laughs> I went back to, to you know, behind the plate. Uh, but that was the first time that I, that I feel some, uh, you know, nervous and, and, and fear to, to have that interaction with, you know, uh, you know, speaking English. Following an MLB debut in 2005 and several stints with various teams, Perez retired in the Pirates organization. He easily transitioned to coach with a passion for helping players reach the big leagues. That was my main thing. Like, I, I want to be part of this. I want to be part of somebody's process and career. And I think that has been, once, once I decided to cross that line of become a coach, I think that has been one of the best decisions that I have made in my life. In the Indians 2023 season alone, Perez helped lead 11 players to the majors. Fellow catcher Andy Rodriguez was one of them. I said, man, this kid is really special. So, uh, you know, there's so many great things that happen this year. I can, I can, I mean, we can sit down and talk about it. We're going to spend a lot of time because it's been a lot. From playing at Victory Field for the first time in 2005 to managing alongside the dugout, Perez has found his home away from home. It's been a bless to be to be here, to be with the Pirates organization and, and uh, being able to, uh, you know, play here, coach here now, managing here for me, it's been, it's been a bless.